Hi everyone, Nick Russo here. I wanted to briefly discuss an advanced routing lab I put together for my Pluralsight customers. The lab has 20 troubleshooting tickets and is guaranteed to challenge you. At the end of this video, I'll explain how you can obtain the lab. Long story short, you'll first have to watch these 7 Pluralsight courses. I won't read all these titles out loud because everyone watching this video knows how to read. These three courses form the core of my advanced routing series and cover all the standard protocols, routing techniques, and IP services commonly seen in real-life enterprise networks. These four courses are more technology-oriented rather than place-in-network-oriented. Six out of seven courses contain unique 20-node network topologies, including configurations, helping to frame each technology in the most realistic light. The only exception is the DNA Center Assurance course, which is very short and focused. Some of you might be interested in taking Cisco certification exams like NRC or CCIE Enterprise Infrastructure. All seven courses are highly relevant for both exams, as I explained in my 10-week study plan. I'll provide a link to that video in the description for those interested. Let's talk about the lab itself. There's a long list of solutions that you cannot apply because it would make things far too easy. Again, I won't narrate the whole list, but in general, you're not allowed to configure low-quality hacks that let you override or bypass problems in the network. I also want to provide you some hints. I don't believe in introducing silly errors like misconfigured IP addresses or subnet masks. Those are entry-level issues and all of you are past that. It's also important that you complete the lab in sequence, from Ticket 1 to Ticket 20. The tickets are not independent, which is more realistic, as you'll soon understand. To make the lab harder, try to avoid using Wireshark by relying more on router show and debug commands. For an even greater challenge, minimize the use of show running config and try to use more specific commands to diagnose problems. Again, I want to reinforce that everything in this lab is covered in my seven Pluralsight courses, so be sure to reference those if you get stuck. Here's the lab topology. I'm not going to overcomplicate this diagram by adding in all the routing protocol boundaries, IP addresses, and other features. The information you see here is enough to take the configuration I give you and turn it into a lab topology in your own environment. You'll just need to rename some interfaces, and the configs will probably load without a hassle. You'll also notice the watermark across the slide, which starts at this point in the presentation and continues till the end. It will contain your name and email address. Please don't put me in a position where I need to pursue legal action for violating my copyright. If you have friends who want to try my lab, implore them to obtain it the correct way, which means watching my Pluralsight courses. Here's the first troubleshooting ticket, and the other 19 have the same format. There's a clear problem statement with no fanfare or sugarcoating, followed by the desired output to indicate success. I've summarized this output a bit to make it easier to understand, and in this case, R7 needs to ping R8 sourced from its loopback. Some tickets have special instructions, which may add new limitations or remove old ones, so pay close attention. On the right, I show a diagram to help focus your attention. I promise that only the devices shown in this diagram need to be edited for any given ticket. In this case, the faults are limited to these six devices. I'm not going to spoil the solution, but I do include a detailed breakdown for each ticket, including show and debug commands, plus a little bit of plain English to explain the solution. Finally, let's talk about how you can get your hands on the lab. I'll pull up my website. I've navigated to my website's homepage at njrusmc.net. Click on Training Courses to get started. Then, scroll down until you get to the Cisco Advanced Routing Learning Path. Once you're there, you'll see the training content. You must watch all seven courses before you click on the troubleshooting link, which is item number eight. This DNA Center Assurance course is about to publish, and I promise that by the time you see this video, it'll be a clickable link. Once you've watched all the courses, you can continue here. These simple instructions should be excessively clear. Once you finish the courses, download your PDF completion certificates. If you don't know how to do that, click this link for a short tutorial by Pluralsight. Then send me an email and attach all seven PDFs. 
This proves that you actually watch the content and are entitled to the lab. You can click this link for an automatic mail to resolution or you can manually craft an email following these parameters. Be sure to include your name in the message body so I can add it to the watermark. Also, please use your email address that you used to register with Pluralsight. Please don't disrespect me by using a burner account. Once I receive your email, I'll send you a watermarked copy of that lab that you can enjoy along with the configurations. If you have any questions, concerns, or constructive feedback, hit me up on Twitter or visit my About Me page to let me know. Thank you.